morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you joined me this morning. Today, we're going to talk about promises. I'm sure you know what a promise is. Have you ever made a promise to your mom and dad or maybe to a friend? Has it been hard sometimes to keep that promise? I know that keeping promises can be really hard. Maybe you've made a promise to your mom and dad that you'll clean your room. And then eh, you kind of get distracted and you don't do what you promised. And your parents look later and they say, hey, you promised you would clean your room. And they might even add on, remember, a promise is a promise. And that means they're saying to you, a promise is something that you always keep. Sometimes it's hard to keep those promises. So what I do is I think about God and what God would want me to do. Suppose one friend invites me to come over to their house to play and I promise them I'll come later in the afternoon. Meanwhile, another friend asks me to go somewhere special, maybe to go to a park or maybe to go out for ice cream together. What do I do? Do I say yes, I'll go with the second friend? When really that means I have to break my promise to my first friend. Well, keeping a promise is hard, but I would think about what would God want me to do? And I think God would want me to keep my promise because that first friend would be very hurt if I canceled to go with someone else. So, should you ever break a promise? Are there times when it's better to break a promise? And I think there are times. In our Bible story today, we heard about someone who made a promise and it was a bad promise. And people got hurt from it. So that was not the best promise to keep. Let me think of an example for you. Suppose uh, you have a friend who's your neighbor and they say to you, hey, if my mom asks if you were over to play at my house this morning, tell her yes. Do you promise to tell her yes that you were over at my house? Now you know you were not over at her house, at the neighbor's house. Should you make that promise? Probably not. But if you made the promise and then later you find out that your neighbor friend really did something wrong, that they did some damage and maybe they ruined uh, somebody's fence, like they painted another neighbor's fence and they painted bad things on it. Hmm, now you're stuck. Do you keep your promise to your friend or do you tell the truth to your friend's mom when she asks if you were over at their house to play? Well, it's hard sometimes to figure out what to do, but I think about God. What would God want me to do? Would God want me to break my promise? It's hard because a friend might be a little angry with me, but I know that the right thing to do would be to tell the mom the truth. And I'd have to break my promise to my friend so that I could tell my friend's mom the truth. Boy, life is complicated, isn't it? So what I usually do is just remember God and think about what God would want us to do. And it kind of makes the decisions a little bit easier. So a promise is a promise, but sometimes if people get hurt by keeping that promise, it's okay to tell the truth. How about if you help me pray? Dear God, help us to make good decisions. Especially, help us to remember the most important promise we can keep is 
to follow you in all of our life decisions. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Have a great day, boys and girls.